Hello everyone, in this playlist we will learn how to develop GUI applications with Python Custom Kinter. I recommend watching the playlist in order. At the end of the playlist you will be able to develop your own apps. I am sure you will get good job offers after learning GUI app development. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me. I will use Visual Studio Code throughout the playlist. You can use any program. If you do not have the program installed yet, you can watch the download video on my channel. I will also add it to the description of the video. We write this code in the terminal section to transfer the custom Kinter library. This code is importing all custom Kinter files into the project file. Then we can start using the library. If you encounter any problems up to this stage, you can specify in the description section. I will try to help. When the transfer process is finished, you should be importing the custom Kinter library without any errors. I will create an empty desktop window. I'm synchronizing the custom Kinter function with a variable. The app variable is synchronized with my desktop window. I can change the desktop window settings using this variable. I need an infinite loop so that the app doesn't close. I am using the main loop function. Everything is okay. We have created an empty window. In the coming videos, we will add many objects to the empty window. I recommend you to continue watching the videos without skipping. Let's create a title for the application. I can create it using title function in app variable. I'm sending a string value to the title function. This way I can set the app title. Let's set the application initial size. I am using the geometry function. The two parameters sent to the function represent dimensions. Let's test it by sending different values. Let's set the theme of the desktop application. I am using the set appearance mode function. There are three options. Light, dark and system modes. I want to show you all in order. Now let's set the default color mode. You will not notice this change now. Because this is a setting related to objects. For example, if we created a button, its color would be blue. In the following lessons, we will add objects such as buttons to the desktop window. You can send it to the function in different colors. In the next video we will learn how to add a button to the desktop application. We will also define a task function for the button. The task function will run when the button is clicked. Thanks to this, we will assign various tasks to the button. Thanks for watching. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me.